So one of my issues with you is you seem to never have any problems. You tend to kind of just everything go with the flow. That's Nothing an issue. Ever bothers you. At least you don't say it. And although I feel like we balance each other, at times I have felt like you might be secretly holding all these grudges against me because you just never, ever have anything negative to say. And I'm like, I know I'm perfect, but not that perfect. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't like conflict. Just real quick, he said he doesn't like conflict. Yeah, drama, conflict. Most dudes don't want drama, especially from their women. Guys don't want to fight with women, which essentially is going on right here. I see so many of these modern women that just revel in toxicity. They need the hot, the cold. They need the ups, the downs. This is modern womanese is exactly what this is. And a lot of times they don't even understand their own nature within this. Guys like to stay within order. They like to be even killed. Masculine guys. Okay, it's not all guys. Masculine killing guys. They don't like to talk a lot. They don't, they're not overly expressive, right? If you want that from your guy, then go get some more girlfriends. But that's not what your guy is supposed to be like. I see so many and so often these modern women today look for traits of their girlfriends and their guys. And I think a lot of it's because that's what Disney and the media tells y'all to do. But before I prejudge, let's move on. Conflict. So to me, it's just like, is it that serious to start something now? But it doesn't mean we're starting something because that's with the assumption that in you expressing your feelings, it's going to cause a fight. I feel like in you expressing your feelings, it's going to clarify something and it's going to make us better and it's going to oh, make God. me a better partner to you because I might not notice how something's impacting you because your face is like stone all the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. Oh, so God. One OK, real quick. Let me. OK, I was correct. So what she said at the end there makes a lot of sense. Clarity is important. But notice what she said in the beginning. She said, sometimes I just don't know what you think because you're not coming out with your feelings and you're not expressing yourself. This is the same shit I was talking about before. Modern women today have been conditioned that men should be as emotional as what they are. So when they come across a dude that's masculine or stoic, it's almost as if they long for the emotionality of their girlfriends. So while I think that it's a little bit of modern woman conditioning, I also think that it's a major component of female nature. What is it that we know? Well, many modern women today need adventure in their life. And I'm not just talking about trip adventure. I'm talking about you got to keep women constantly guessing. You can't be too hot nor too cold with them. They can't know your next move or your next step because I find too often is that the moment that they think that they've got you, that is the exact moment where they will begin to lose all respect for you. And that's why I say so often on the channel is that therapy is key is because not only can you remove the emotional damage of past relationships which have gotten you into that state of reveling in toxicity, but then also it gives you the opportunity to remove the societal conditioning that says put toxicity up on a pedestal, but then also it helps you recognize the component of your own nature, which would not be fortuitous in a relationship with a masculine man going into the future. And then when they don't get that healing or they don't get that therapy, that's usually when they refer to dudes as boring. But men understand this is that if you are legit boring, then that's something that you got to fix. All right. There's balance to being boring and being exciting. But women who consistently introduce irrational disturbances into the relationships are the same women who aren't worthy of rings. But speaking of irrational disturbances. Men always say how women's soccer sucks. Men come to the field and try with us. The Australian women's national team, who were ranked number five in the world at the time, yeah. lost 7-0 to a team of 15-year-old boys. Awkward. <laughs> Big awkward, all right? But this is what happens when you diminish the importance of the difference between the gender is also multiplied with giving everyone participation trophies. Is that you have number five in the world ranked women versus half prepubescent boys and still lose. If anything, I just feel sorry for the goalkeeper on the boys team, okay? Because he got no work that day. <laughs> but listen, I actually found a clip of this game. Pay attention. Oh, oh, get up. Oh, oh, header. Oh, juggle. Dribble. Oh, through the legs. Nasty. Nasty. Oh, off me. Off me, woman. Oh, get off me. Oh, nice. Oh, he's good. Oh, oh. Whoop. What's up? <laughs> What's, get off me. <laughs> Let's move on. I don't get hugs consistently. I don't hear my name being said. And there's no fault. It's just circumstance. But now I'm in a position where I feel like 
I sometimes can't picture a love that meets all of your needs. Mm. Or most of them. I don't know. I just wish I could like make myself like not want it anymore, you know? Because <laughs> while I know it's natural to want it, it's painful and I'm tired. You know, what's actually really sad about this is that, you know, since the creation of the Internet and specifically social media platforms such as like Instagram, as well as dating apps, um, depression amongst young women has drastically increased. And I think a large component of the reason for that is while men compete a much more tangible thing such as, you know, strength or maybe money in the bank account, women compete on social status. And there's nothing more prevalent than to watch social status or relationship status than watching it on social media. However, truthful or false that it actually is. Then you have all these modern women that instead of submitting to a man, submit to the modern woman programming and are way more likely to put up a front in front of their boss, be strong and independent, but on the inside they're dying because they long for the love and the attention of a man that they respect. I mean, the programming is so deep and it's so real. I mean, think of like Beyonce, for example. She gave y'all the independent woman anthems, all the single ladies, girls run the world, girls, that shit, and a bunch of other shit I just can't remember off the top of my head right now, but she's married, popping out babies for Jay-Z right now. Simply put, your leaders have lied to you. For what? They led one life in their music and another life behind closed doors while you suffered. And all for women's empowerment? It's for capital. It's capitalism. Now, ain't that about a bitch? But y'all get mad at those that identify all of the liars that y'all been listening to for decades. But I think the big question here is can modern women today really and truly separate what is entertainment? versus what is reality? And by and large, I think the answer to that question is no. But when I see women like this making content like this, it makes me think that some of these women are beginning to wake up. But I've said this from Jump Street, it's all about your outcomes and your results in your life tied into what's gonna make you the most happy. And while they appropriated empowerment for the dollar, the single ass aunties were at home suffering, but they didn't have platforms to tell you the result of all that modern woman bullshit. Next, we spotted our friend's girlfriend with another guy. We followed them to this place and sent the drone up. Oh. Caught. They're giving the drone middle fingers. I don't know what I... <laughs> I don't know what I'll be able to put into the video. Because of YouTube guidelines. But yeah, they're just... They... <laughs> Imagine. Caught. You can tell that they, they're talking about it right now. She's sitting up right now. Okay, it's, it's blurred out even on my side too. The guy just went over to the driver's seat. She's putting on her garbs. And she's smiling and shit. Yo, the drone is right. You can see the, <laughs> you can see the drone in the reflection. Yo, this, yo, technology today, yo. Oh, it's like a farm town. Looks like it's rural as hell. They, they, they probably. They, this is probably like a, a damn near daily activity, especially in these rural ass places. You could just go out there, but <laughs> not with drones around anymore. You know what I mean? Surveillance. Caught. Try to explain that away, Susie. Yo, look at this shot right here. She's smiling, thinking it's just some, <laughs> it's just some random person recording her. No. It's the friends of your boyfriend. Shout out to the friends, by the way. Shout out to you for not only your impeccable drone flying skills, because you got a cinematic shot of them driving away, but shout out to y'all for seeing the bullshit and the malarkey and supporting your boy and letting him know that he's been dating a Super Saiyan thought. No, seriously, no, I'm happy that she got caught in this particular manner. I just hope that the dude, after he saw this, was able to recover and to step forward within his life with the appropriate steps of letting her go. You never forgive no shit like this, gents. How many times do I have to tell y'all this? If a woman cheats, they're doing it with their mind and doing it with their emotions. That's a lot different when a guy cheats. Cheating is wrong at the end of the day if it's a guy or a girl. But do understand that in my book, it's an unforgivable action that comes from a lady, all right? Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Me over the and reviews at gmail.com. That shit right there made me want to go buy a drone. I ain't gonna hold you up. <laughs> so.
They've gotten good. That was like HD quality right there. You know what I'm saying? You can't be mad at that at the end of the day, you know? But the more technology that we have, the more truthful that people have to be in this modern society today. All right? Until next time, YouTube.